Hello ladies, it's Sue here, one of the Look Fabulous Forever Ambassadors and I'm getting in party mode because it was about this time of year, 11 years ago, that Trisha Custon created this fabulous brand called Look Fabulous Forever. Tired of being tempted by makeup for teenagers and those in their 20s, she decided to create a range perfectly designed for ladies with older skins like mine. So they have makeup, skincare and hair care and their products are just perfectly tailored for ladies with older skins. So I'm going to start my party makeup for Look Fabulous Forever. I'm wearing purple, their colours and um, so far I've used the, my Fact of 50 which is fabulous to keep your skin protected from the sun. The sooner you start with this the better. And on top of that, I've used the Prime, the Smooth Light Skin Face Prime. Also wonderful to create a lovely base to put your makeup on. And that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with my foundation. Um, continuous cover I'm using, and this is 2.5. And I apply it with my fingers, because I just like to. <laughs> and just uh, put a little squidge on my hand, I only need that much, and then I blend that, try and distribute it evenly on my face, or where's that curler to hold my hair out the way, up here, and blend that in. And it just goes on perfectly. And because I've used the moisturiser and then that primer, this continuous cover will do exactly that it will stay put right through the day and still be perfect at night time it just is fabulous sort of created an even skin tone now apart from those dreaded dark circles and for those I use the concealer I use concealer number two and I'm going to apply that now. I'm going to dot it on with my fingers, but then blend it with a brush. I'm doing this a bit blind because I'm doing it into my phone screen. I really need this. I've got dark shadows, make my eyes look hollow. And if I don't use concealer, people will say, are you all right? I also like to use it on any patches of discoloration that I may have. I just use a, a fluffy brush really, because I've already applied it. And then tap it in and there I am. So I've got the base of my uh, look coming on now. And then from there, I like to do my brows next and I'm going to use Bring Back The Brow, um, a lovely product. It comes with a little brush like that, loaded with product. I use the blonde for my fair eyebrows and I just start with very light strokes blending outwards following the natural course of my eyebrow. Can you see? What it does is adds a bit of volume to, I mean I've still got brows, adds a bit of volume to that, but it also fills in the gaps, you know, that I have a few little gaps in my eyebrows these days. It's really all you need because you need your brows for definition. I don't like my brows to look too dark because I am naturally fair. And then once it's on, get that shape right round here. Once it's on before it's totally dry i take my what they call a spoolie brush where are you spoolie brush here and i just run that through you see and now i've got a little bit more definition around my my eyebrows and then i take my lip brush my lip um, pencil <laughs> um, and i use strawberry and 
I create a nice line around my lips. Makes it easier to apply your lipstick, but it also keeps your lipstick in place. And I use this together with another product, which I'll use just now. Stop my lips bleeding into fine lines, like around here. And for that, you use the lip prime. Never Feather Lip Prime, and it does exactly what it says. Thank you, Tricia. It never allows your lipstick to feather. You don't need very much, just dot it around there and just let it dry. It dries to like an invisible film. And then once I've got to that stage, what I normally do is I set my makeup with a translucent powder, which looks like that, with a big brush and swirl it round and then just set that. Any celebration usually enjoys, usually involves dancing and I get a little hot and this helps keep that matte look. Might involve photographs too, which means you need that um, lovely base to make your face look great on camera. So I think I've got the basis now to apply the colourful part of my makeup, which I love, which is my eye makeup and cheeks and lips. I'm gonna start with my eyes and because I'm wearing this colour, I'm going to go for the soft greys and they look like that. So I take my eyeshadow brush, where are you, this one, and I swirl it around the, the grey in the, in the palette, but then I also sneak over to a little of the mauvey colour and start from the centre of my eye outwards. It says soft greys, but they do have like a lilac -y tinge to them. They're not that cold grey, steely colour. Take that right the way across your eyelid. Doing this in the screen again, so I hope I'm doing it okay. So that, and then I take that bigger brush again that I, I use for my eyebrows, and I just blend that a little bit more. I think it's a pretty colour, don't you? And then towards the outside of my eyes, from the middle of the eye to the end, I like to put a little bit of a darker colour there. And there is a darker colour in the palette, which I will use. So I take the smaller brush again, and then back into the palette, I'm going to use the darker grey. And again, let my brush wander over into the lilac -y bit. And that's going to go from there to here. I don't know what I'd do without these matte shadows now. Because they really are perfectly designed for not to go into creases, not to highlight your wrinkles. Just perfect, really. You know, you think of the time I spent browsing cosmetic counters looking for products that would do what I wanted them to do and now I don't have to do that anymore. Thank you, Trisha. They've got a little bit more definition. And then into um, the crease under my brow bone, I'm going to use um, cream, the cream, just a cream single for that, which I use a lot, as you can see. And for that, I'm go really going to put my finger in here get it onto my finger and then I just tap it under my brow bone up here. You're creating shape so you want that to come forward and you want your eyes to look rounder and larger. You really are being all creative and artistic when you put your makeup on ladies. That's what the fun is isn't it? So that cream is there as a highlighter and I also just use it my nose, a little bit of my chin. Oh gosh, it's going quickly. Right, pencils. I'm going to line the inner rim of my eye with the charcoal. 
uh, one of the newer colours, lovely. Put it in here and I just really press it under my eyelashes just to create more definition. Helps me because I've got fair eyelashes and this just adds a little bit of oomph. More definition so that when I do line my eyes, you know, I've got a firm line there then. And then from on my eyelids, from about a third of the way in, right the way along. Creates a nice soft line onto the other eye and the charcoal is, is a little bit softer than the dark brown but it's still there it's lovely so that's my line done on my eye and next comes my oh, i'm gonna put a little bit of purple there as well to match this and i'm just going to use that on the bottom third of my eye from just in of the edge to the middle of my iris Again, for a little bit of definition and some colour. There we go. Mascara. What would I do without my Live Lash Mascara? With this lovely big brush that separates all my lashes. Makes putting my mascara on so easily. Coats every single lash. And I sort of push my lashes into it as I'm running it through them. You can already see the difference. You think about it, the last 11 years have gone incredibly quickly. And can you believe we're heading to hurtling towards the end of the year? It's actually quite frightening. And always two thin coats are better than one thick coat. So I'll let that dry slightly before I put a second coat on. And in fact, while I'm doing that, I'll go to my blusher. I'm using Desert Rose. Lovely neutral pinky um, tone, pinky tawny, actually the perfect colour. And again, top of my cheekbones. Just want to give you that just flushed, excited look. Get the mascara going again, quick second coat for glamour and this time i'll extend it to my bottom lashes as well just brush it against the bottom lashes two things i need to do i need to you do my lipstick and i'm going to use long lasting poppy today and it's a bright color and it's a little bit dark so for me when you use a darker lipstick I apply it with a brush just because you need to be a little bit more accurate. I just rub it onto the my brush into the lipstick and there it is, beautifully bright. I'm going to blot that, the tissue. There we go. And then I don't think I need another coat. I'm going to leave it like that. But what I am going to do is add a little bit of the cinnamon uh, lip gloss. Smells delicious. And I'm just going to highlight the middle of my lips to make them a bit fuller. So literally there and add a little bit of fullness. I think it's all coming together now. I know what I didn't use, which I've got out specially. A little bit of um, the Sheer Brilliance eye colour. I use this as a highlight and it's a perfect mauve shade. It'll just catch the light. And I just apply it here in the centre of my eye. I should have done this earlier. But you know, all their products are very forgiving. And just blend that in slightly. See what it does? It's lovely. I think I'm ready. What do you think, ladies? 
Do I look party ready? <laughs> I'm in the mood now after doing all that talking about parties. So what shall I say? Happy birthday, look fabulous forever. Happy birthday. <laughs> Long may you live. And I think I better go and put this. It's a bit early in the day, but I'm going to put my champagne on ice. Cheers. Happy birthday. <laughs> Bye for now.